Hello guys, this video will have a short introduction to one of our ebooks. Simple Arduino based automated parking lot system. First, we'll see an overview of the project. Then it will be implemented to see its performance. Finally, we'll have an overview of the prepared ebook. Before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to inform you about all the great content we have been releasing on the PLC Goods YouTube channel which includes industrial automation PLC programming, HMI, and microcontroller-based developments. My name is Syed Reza, and if you enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell, to receive the latest and the greatest content, I will be posting through the channel. Alright, let's start. Simple Arduino Mega 2560 Controller-Based Automated Car Parking System the project overview. In this project, I am implementing the Arduino Mega 2560 development board and an RFID module, to design and build a prototype version of an automated car parking system. I am also using the same fixture prototype system, that I used in two of my previous projects using a PLC or an AVR microcontroller, as the main project controllers. The most important electronic parts used in this project. One Arduino Mega 2560 development board. One RFID type RC522 module. One two digit LED display. One two by 16 character LCD display. One DS1307 IC. A real time clock, and the related lithium battery. Two opto couplers. Type 4 and 35. One driver shield PCB. Check out page 35 for a complete list of the parts used in this project. Functions of different parts of this project. The two digit 7 segment LED display board shows the number of vacant slots available for cars to park. The LCD board displays the time and amount of money any driver owes to the parking management based on the time the car was parked in the lot. The RFID module records, and saves the entrance and exit time of any car parked in the lot. The Arduino Mega 2560, calculates the net time when any car is parked, and the amount due from a driver. When an incoming car reaches the parking gate, an IR sensor detects it. If there is any vacant slot available, the arm gate moves up, to allow the car to get into the parking area. The parking operator picks an RFID tag, places it on the RFID reader, to record the arrival time of the car on the tag, and passes the tag to the driver, to hang on it as long as his car is parked in the parking area. The two-digit seven-segment LED display, always shows the total number of available slots in the parking area, since one car now is parked inside the parking lot. So one unit is deducted from number 5. Now it shows that the number of available slots is 4. When the parking area is not full, a green LED indicator is on. When the parking area is full, a flickering red LED indicator turns on with a frequency of 1 Hz. As you see on the video, after simulating the entrance of four more cars into the parking lot. The LED display now is showing that the number of available cars is zero, which means the parking lot is full. The red flickering LED is turned on automatically. While the parking area is full, if any other car tries to enter the parking lot, the red LED indicator starts flickering with higher frequency, to warn the driver that the parking lot is full. 
To calculate the parking charge fee, a driver who is exiting the parking area, needs to submit his RFID tag to the operator. The operator places the tag over the RFID reader, to start the system to calculate the parking fee. Based on, the amount of time any car is parked in the parking lot. The system calculates the parking fee charge, and displays it on its 2x16 characters LCD screen. The operator depresses the paid key after the driver pays the fee, to cause the arm gate to move up to let the driver out. Right after the operator charge as the outgoing driver, and activates the arm gate, the two-digit 7 segment updates the number of the available slot in the parking lot, and one is added to its current value. Finally, in case any driver uses a different RFID tag that is not known to the system, the system recognizes the wrong tag, and turns on the red LED indicator, and activates the buzzer at the same time. The ebook for this title, is prepared in two chapters, and 51 pages. It explains, the detail of the system hardware, and software. All main control program solutions, are prepared in C language for both, at Mega 8 Microcontroller, and the Arduino Mega 2560 development board. You receive, all the software solutions, upon the purchase of the ebook, and you will not need to develop, any code to get the project running. Chapter 1, explains the project specification. The detailed explanation of all schematics, related to the system hardware implemented in this project, for at Mega 8 microcontroller. The topics related to the speedometer, IR sensor, time and date display PCBS, are fully explained. And finally, a complete explanation of the control code, generated in C language, for at Mega 8 microcontroller, is given. Chapter 2, explains the developing process, of the hardware and software, generated for the same project. But this time, implementing the Arduino Mega 2560 development board, in detail to construct the same project. Topics related to the redesign of stoplight boards, the speedometer display board, the main LCD display board, etc. are all investigated in this chapter. Thanks for watching my content. If you have any question on this topic make sure you leave them in the comment section below, and if you can spend a few seconds of your time liking as well as sharing this video, if you enjoyed it, that will mean a lot to me. If you have any suggestions for the channel such as what kind of hardware or software I should be covering, then make sure to leave that in the comment section. See you next time. Bye bye.